What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games. In today's video, I'm going to be covering all of the brand new cross gen evolutions coming to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And of course, if you're new to the channel, you enjoy Pokemon guides, please subscribe, like the video. I really appreciate it. Let's dive in and begin with Dunsparce, my personal favorite Pokemon of all time. And I love this guy. The fact that he got an evolution is really sick. And let's check out where we can catch him. He's pretty much caught everywhere. He is a rare spawn though. However, he's not that rare. You'll eventually see a lot of these. And the personal area I would like to catch one of these is in the beginning of the game because I really want him on my team. And he's honestly a pretty solid Pokemon, especially with his new evolution, the Dunsparce. And it will run away from you, so you got to be careful. You can either sneak up on it, or you can bum rush it and get into battle, because it is pretty slow. So I'm currently located on the map right over here. So Megazoa, our starting university, I just take a right. I go down here, cross this land bridge, and then you can get a bunch of Dunsparces to spawn here. Of course, they're a little bit rare, but if you use an encounter power to increase the spawns of normal type Pokemon, then they're going to be everywhere, so I wouldn't worry about it. So if you want to catch a Dunsparce, you can literally just run away. It does get procced with that exclamation point. If you don't run at it too fast, then it's going to eventually run away. You can catch them at level 17, which is actually a pretty solid level to get a Dunsparce. And once you get your Dunsparce, all you need to do is get your Dunsparce to get to level 32. And at level 32, it's going to learn Hyper Drill, which is the required move in order to evolve. So once you have Hyper Drill, hit 32 or any level above 32, you can evolve into the Dunsparce. Now the Dunsparce has two segmented forms and a three segmented form. And it seems to be a completely randomized personality value. The two segmented form is way more common than the three segmented form. And Pokemon does look pretty sick, honestly. It's literally just a big Dunsparce. But getting that three segmented form, we do not know the exact way just yet. And if I do learn it, I'll let you guys know. But at the moment, I can currently only get this two segment informed. There is no actual difference between them besides a visual difference. Next up is how to get Annihilate. So if one, you need to get a Mankey. And Mankey can be found in the exact same area that we caught the Dunsparce in. So you're looking for that Dunsparce. You're probably going to find Mankeys because the Mankeys aren't that rare. And they're going to be about at that same levels around the Dunsparce. Very easy to catch. So you just want to catch one of these guys real quick and then add them to your team. And then of course you need to evolve your Mankey into a Primate to get to the next step. Now once your Primate reaches level 35, it will learn the move Rage Fist, which is a brand new move and the signature move of Annihilate. So you will need to learn this move and just replace anything. So we'll replace Low Kick here. Rage Fist is a ghost type move that does 50 damage and whenever you get damage, it will give the move 50 more power. So you get hit once, that move is now doing 100 damage. It's a fantastic, phenomenal move. Now that we have the move, we need to use Rage Fist 20 times. I recommend going to a low level area and just spamming it and eventually you'll be getting your Annihilate. Now that you've used Rage Fist 20 times, you need to level up your Primate by one level just to proc the evolution. So if you have like any experience candies or a rare candy or you find like any sort of Pokemon you want to defeat, I'm just going to pop a large one on him. All right, hit 37, and there we go. So Primate is now going to evolve into the Ghost Fighting Annihilate. This Pokemon is actually insanely good, really good offensive stats overall, and is honestly my favorite design of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and I hope you enjoy using Annihilate. Next up is Girafferig and how to evolve it into Ferrigarath. So Girafferig actually is a mid-game Pokemon, but you can go get this Pokemon at the beginning of the game if you really want Ferrigarath. You don't need any Coridon or Miridon abilities to get through here. Essentially, all you have to do is go from Megazoa, and from Megazoa, you are going to cut around the first gym, go around the mountain, Go through this gym area, and you don't have to do the gym. You just cut through the desert, and when you exit on the other side of the desert, you'll be able to see giraffe rigs pretty much everywhere. And we got one right here. And giraffe rig is going to be at a relatively highish level, so if you're trying to do this at the beginning of the game, it could be a little bit annoying to get. 
but we're just gonna throw an ultra ball and it may actually just work because it's not too strong of a pokemon now evolving giraffe rig is just as easy as evolving dunsparce but i just use experience candy here and you just need to actually get giraffe rig to level 32 because it's gonna learn the move twin beam you don't want to learn double hit doesn't really matter but twin beam is the important move here so on level up and learning twin beam you'll be able to evolve it's actually a pretty good move too it's a psychic move that hits twice that does 40 damage for a total of 80 damage and now we're gonna get that giraffe rig evolution and for i do want to mention though if you don't want to deal with all these evolutions and you're just waiting for the decks you can catch both the dunsparce and for Gregoraf in the last area of the game in the wild which is pretty cool there is no wild encounters for annihilate though now this next pokemon is going to be the hardest if you want to get king ambit the final evolution of the Ponyard line you're going to need to either get a Ponyard or a Bisharp. I will say this though, Ponyard evolves so late into Bisharp that I actually would not recommend using this Pokemon in your playthrough team until you get to one of the late game areas where you can just catch a Bisharp outright because we're gonna need to do a lot of work with Bisharp. But if you wanna see where to get Ponyard, these are the areas you can get it. You can get it just south of Megazoa. The easiest way is going to the southeast of Megazoa in the desert near where Cloth is. You can catch a Ponyard there, they'll spawn in groups. But if you wanna get a Bisharp, you're gonna need to go all the way to the Bamboo Forest. And this is the only place in the game to really capture a wild Bisharp. And it is one of the last areas in the whole game. It has some of the highest level Pokemon. So you're not going to actually get here anytime soon. There is no early way to get here. And you actually need to be in this area in order to do it. Because you need to defeat other Bisharps with your own Bisharp holding a particular item. But as you can see from Megazoa, you have to go all the way up north. And then there actually is a land structure that blocks your way through here. You will need the ability to climb, which is the last co on or Myriadon power. Getting King Ambit is the trickiest one for sure because you can only get King Ambit by one. You need to capture a Bisharp that has the Leader's Crest. The only Bisharps that have Leader Crest are Bisharps that are a leader of a bunch of pawn yards so there's another by sharp right here he won't have a leader's crest item held on him when you catch him because he's not a leader of anything but this one is a leader so you want to get into combat with him and when we actually catch him he is going to be holding a leader crest and there we go we can see that it is holding the leader crest right there we'll make it first so there you go, held item leader's crest, a shard of which appears to be an old blade of some sort. It is only held by a sharp that are head up a group of Ponyard. So that's step one done. Now step two, we need to defeat three Bisharps with our own Bisharp who are also holding their own leader's crest. So we need to run around a bunch until we see three more groups of Ponyards with a Bisharp leading them, defeat them all, and then we'll be able to evolve. We need to be holding this item, which is very important. You cannot switch out to another Pokemon to get the kill. It has to be by Sharp to get the kill. To make this a lot easier, I highly recommend teaching by Sharp a TM, like a fighting move. Brick Break is a great one because it's four times super effective against other by Sharps. And this will make this process go a lot faster because you don't want to lose in that combat situation or it's going to take a lot more time. This should be our last one. I don't know why it was in a rock, but it works either way. Still looks like a leader. And now we just need to use a candy to level up. Because, you know, you can only evolve upon level up. So we'll pop some mediums. And there we go. We're going to get King Ambit here, which is very exciting. I actually haven't seen this evolution myself, which is really awesome. And this Pokemon has insane stats. Highly recommend using this guy. It is just literally a better buy sharp. And fun fact, he is sitting on his hair. That little stool is his hair. Very cool.
Only Bioshark that stands above all others in a vast army can evolve into King Ambit. And there we have it. That is how you get all four cross evolution Pokemon in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please subscribe, like the video, and I'll catch you guys next time with more Pokemon guides. Peace out and have a great one.